what I'm studying are sites that, um, as opposed to traditional archaeological sites where you find lots of stone tools and extremely easily diagnostic materials that you can say definitely humans made this, um, the sites I'm looking at can be a bit more controversial at times. Um, so some of the sites in the past have been suggested to be bird mounds or just natural earth formations. And the problem for this is for the traditional owner communities that live there, um, it's important that they know uh, parts of their landscape. And the goal for me is to be able to confirm that these sites are archaeological. One of the traditional owners up there, uh, up until recently, used to make uh, fishing spears, uh, completely organic based with uh, wood and types of resin and things like that. And we were able to sh show that this was being done 2,000 years ago. And for people living right there to be able to can point to three meters away from where they're living and say that that went on 2,000 years ago by your ancestors is uh, amazing for them to learn and really important for them because uh, as uh, like Walter Roth, he's uh, an ethnographer from the uh, very early 1900s demonstrated the people up there had um, either lands taken from them or they were taken from their lands and uh, a lot of what they would otherwise know has been lost as a result of a lot of the problems up there and just being able to bring that back to them is really important. So my supervisor is Dr. Darrell Wesley. Basically from the get-go we got on very well. Darrell's had uh, extensive experience working, surveying and excavating on a range of archaeological site types in North Australia. And more importantly as well, Darrell has a lot of relationships with traditional owners in various regions up in North Australia. And this is also important um, because you want to make sure that the communities up there know that the people who are coming um, intend to treat all these sites with care and respect. It's a phenomenal environment, to say the least. Just by being part of ANU, you've got access to, well, a campus bigger than my hometown with twice the population. I, f I find it amazing, the, uh, the libraries in particular, how if you don't know anything, you can educate yourself on it very, very quickly. And if you don't know anything about it, the document delivery people can get it to you. Well, hopefully I'll have two letters at the start of my name, or three at the end. I'd like to perhaps do less field archaeology because I'll be getting older and do more uh, lecturing or anything academic along those lines.